now you're given this equation and you're wanting to this is a circle this is actually an equation in a circle and uh, you want to try to find its center and its radius and to do that you need to try to rewrite this in standard form equation of a circle remember the standard form equation of a circle looks like this so we need to rewrite this to get it into this form though what we're going to have to do is, is use a method called completing the square now I have some videos to talk about complete the square you can click though click that link right now or just find out you can search out just do a quick Google search completing the square you can you can find how to do that but I'm going to do that uh, method with this and not give much explanation of why I'm doing this but you just divide by two and then square and add to both sides it's, it's pretty easy but it's, it'd be in your best benefit to figure out why I'm doing that so follow the links and figure out exactly how completing the square works so right now all I'm doing is rewriting the equation I'm putting stuff in order so I can complete the square so I'm going to complete the square first which is this part all right. So if I do this, this this part right here. So if I complete the square here, we'll take half a negative two, which is negative one. So automatically x minus one squared. Now when I do that, negative one squared is one. So technically I've added one to both sides. All right. Now I'm just going to take complete the square with the y's. So you take half of eighteen. You get 9. So automatically y plus 9 squared. And when you square 9, you get 81. So with inside here, there's a positive 81. So technically you've added 81. So if you add it to the left, you need to add it to the right. Now when you do that, you take negative 46 plus 1 plus 81, you get 36. So you've got your equation now. That means the center is at uh, 1, comma, negative 9, and the radius would be the square root of 36, which is 6.